Hello, today I will be showing you how to create a mosaic plot in Excel. It is actually pretty easy, however, I need to clarify that there are some other programs in which you can create it much easier. For example, SPSS or RStudio, you can get the mosaic plot really easily there, just by using a few commands or steps. However, if you really need to get this done in Excel, you know the solution I'm going to show you a really good option. Okay, let's get started. We are going to use this data which comes from a survey that they do in the United States in which they study the level of satisfaction of people given their educational degree. In this case we have three variables which are satisfied, intermediate and unsatisfied and the educational degrees they have used are less than high school, high school, college and master. Okay, uh, to start with the mosaic plot, we need to have our data summarized in a table like this. This is a contingency table in which we have the dependent variable in the y-axis, just like we have it here. You know, in this case, we are trying to demonstrate that the level of satisfaction of these people is related to their educational degree. That's why it is considered our dependent variable and our independent variable must be placed in the x-axis just like we have it here. So when we have our data summarized like this, we just need to sum up all the information just like you see I have done here. Okay, once we have our table complete, we are going to take every category in the independent variable and make a bar plot out of it. For example, we have the less than high school category we're going to take the data set of it and then we're going to the insert tab and then going to the bar plot and we're going to select this one which has the two bars at the same level as you can see this is not what we need so we're going to change between rows and columns this looks much better we're going to take out these tags here and then we're going to make it literal after this we need to give it some format you know, we're going to right-click it in the interval width, we're going to put zero there. As you can see, after clicking enter, it will become kind of wider. And then we're going to give some format by taking up the field. And then we're going to take also the this line. So we need to do the same thing for all the characters in the independent variable. And yay, we have finished the first step. Now, as you remember, one of the main characteristics of the mosaic plot is that according to the proportion of every category within the sample, this will determine how wide every bar is in the mosaic plot. So we need to get that done also. We're going to take the sum here of every category within the sample, as you can see here, and we're going to insert a horizontal plot. We're going to use this one, the same type of we used before. Then, as usual, we're going to change between columns and rows. We're going to take up the, the title and I'm going to also take up the field. You know, as you can see, this is kind of an approximation of how wide the, every bar should be according to the proportion in the sample. So, everything we must do here is just to kind of fit. We need to fit them according to the how wide they show. Okay, once we have an accurate approximation of how wide every bar should be in the mosaic plot, we're going to erase what we have here and then we are going just to, you know, put them in the same level. Okay, and once we have this, as you can see, this looks a lot like a mosaic plot. Now we just need to place the stacks here, correspond to satisfied, intermediate, and unsatisfied. Okay, and once we have this, 
actually all we need is to kind of give it some format for it to look much better I'm just going to insert a normal normal form here just some eyes here and we're going to give it a better color and I'm going to set it to the to the bottom And yay, we have finished it. As you can see, this looks a lot like the mosaic plot we see from other programs and in books. So I really hope this was useful for you and I'm sorry for my accent. I'm actually a non-English speaker, but I do hope this was useful for you and you could use this option if you needed it.